Hello friends, welcome in. If it's your first time here, my name is Fantaxia or Fanta for short if you like. Today we are going to be watching an anime movie called Nausicaa Valley of the Wind. Hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly. Special thank you to my amazing patrons. They picked this movie for me. We did a movie poll and this was the winner. Uh, so feel free to join me over on Patreon if you would like to vote for future anime movies to watch. I will put a link to my Patreon in the description of this video. It's gonna be my very first time watching it. I really don't know much about it. I know that there is is a female protagonist. I think she's younger, maybe like a teenager or kid or something like that. But honestly, all I saw was really the preview on Netflix. So I really don't know much. I think it's kind of in like a fantasy type of world. I don't know if there's magic involved, but it looks really cozy and really nice and definitely, most definitely will not rip my heartstrings out, right? 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 I am fairly new to the uh, world of anime. I have watched some Studio Ghibli or Ghibli. I prefer to say Ghibli, but I think the correct way is Ghibli. It came out in 1984, so this is an older one. I'm not totally sure who the target audience is. I don't know if it's meant for kids or for adults or kind of somewhere in between. I think it's rated PG, so that would probably mean like appropriate for older kids. But yeah, that's pretty much all I know. Before we hop into my reaction to this movie, please take a few moments to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel to follow along with other anime reactions. Um, we're going to be doing more anime movies. I'm also currently watching Jujutsu Kaisen and Hunter x Hunter. And once you've done that, let's hop right in. <laughs> Is that a perfect ohm shell? Is that a creature? <laughs> I, I see legs. I've never seen a whole shell before. I don't like this. What are those? Huh? What's that? Is touching them okay? <laughs> Well, isn't the ohm going to chase it, whoever it is? Oh, I see. They're going to fly off. This music is very 80s. <laughs> That's how you calm it? Did she kill it? Look at that. She stunned it with flash grenades. Oh, it's stunned. An insect charm. Is she, like, not wearing pants? <laughs> or underwear? I forgot all about this little fellow. He's the reason I got in <gasps> trouble with the Om. He's so cute. There's nothing to fear. <laughs> nothing to fear. Bring a bit, yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You were just a little scared, weren't you? King Jill. So the jungle's oh, poisoned she's a princess. are taking their toll. Valley of the Wind. This makes sense. Oh, that's pretty, though. Who else would rescue me when I'm in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> okay, is Lord Yupa Patrick Stewart? Or does it just sound strangely like him? Sometimes these English dubs surprise me with, like, who they have as a voice actor. So I wouldn't be shocked if it was Patrick Stewart, but I also don't want to sound dumb. <laughs> Here he comes. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Are those bugs on it? Yep. Will that at least kill all the bugs? <laughs> Oh, she's a prisoner. She also looks like Nausicaa. A princess of Pegite. What's she doing on a Tomekin ship? Oh, <laughs> I was like, hold on. <laughs> I don't 
think she needs to be put out of her misery just yet. Here you go, princess. Thanks, Mita. Now, why was the other princess locked up? Okay, I think she is wearing pants. They're just white, which is an odd choice. <laughs> Because it looked pretty sus. Oh, it's going back to the... And home. Oh. I'm guessing that's why the princess said to burn the cargo? The fire didn't seem to harm it at all. Uh-oh. It's a heart? It's beating like a heart. A monster from the old world. Those giant things. A giant saw? warrior. Yep. A giant warrior from the seven days of fire. That was a thousand years ago. Oh my God. Why are they attacking like a small peaceful village? I hope they don't take her hostage. Nausicaa. <laughs> Why? So you're Lord Yupa, the greatest swordsman in the land. I'm offended that you think we need reprimanding. <laughs> we're not savages who've come to massacre your people. We're here to talk. So would you put your... Then why did you get so aggressive? Didn't they just kill the king? <laughs> that those who join me will live without fear of the insects or the jungle's <sighs> poisons ever again. I don't trust her. Kill an old blind woman, then it was for you to murder our King Jill. King Jill? What? He was. You tell him. Is that the thing? Is that the weapon? I'm not in a position to make that decision. <laughs> Weasel. I feel like I know her voice too. Select your five hostages and load up the cargo barge before tomorrow's departure. If I had to guess, I'd say. Uma Thurman. Kato, where has Nasika gone? Oh. Little secret door. <gasps> Is that safe? They could have made her pants literally any other color. So, like, did humanity poison the earth, essentially? Like, is this a, is this a climate and pollution uh, allegory? Allegory? It's a gunship! Oh. Who's attacking them? This is terrible! Oh! He's hit the rear guard! Truly. <gasps> they get a little bit shot up and they just explode. Stop it! All this killing must stop! I don't think that's gonna work. Princess! I just very much don't trust the people that she's with. For obvious reasons. And I feel like whoever was shooting at them probably had good reason to do so. Here! Get in! Can we launch? I hope so! I feel like that lady was about to fight her <laughs> for that escape pod. Hold on, Tato. Don't die! This movie has some killer killer music start the engine we'll look for a place to land ah, i inhaled some of that poison why did she take her mask off yeah so this is basically just nature fighting back don't move i'm the one who gives the orders this bitch what are you so afraid of you act like a scared little fox squirrel <gasps> <laughs> We are not your enemies. We mean you no harm. I don't. Nope. Don't like that. Is 
Is it like telepathically communicating with her? Right, when their eyes go red, they're angry. The princess is gone. Why don't I take that for you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's why they're getting mad. He's shooting his gun. <gasps> oh my god. Oh god, that's nasty. Ah! Uh-oh. She lost her mask, though. Quicksand. That's not great, Bob. Interesting. Where's the boy? Hey! I found your glider. The air isn't poisonous here. This is like the sand from the bottom of our well. So everything is healthy underground? Uh, these nuts taste awful. What are they? <sighs> They're called Chico nuts. They're supposed to be good for you. Why does everything that's good for you taste so bad? <laughs> <laughs> good question. And the insects, they evolved to guard this place. If that's true, then mankind is destined to go extinct. I hate that. Oh, hey, wait, you gotta give us the password. Hurry. Wind? Valley. Okay. Some of us will survive. Take care of the valley and don't do anything rash while we're gone. Yes, yes sir. sir. I have a feeling they're going to do something rash. What's going on? My heart's pounding like crazy. Hey, we're almost there. Pedjite's just over that mountain. I am curious to see what the other civilizations look like. God. But it's dead, right? Asbel, you know what the plan is. You have to tell me. Oh, Going no. to bait insects into the valley. <gasps> so you lured the insects here into Pedjite? They're just all making the cycle so much worse. What are you doing? Stay right there. <laughs> Let go of the princess now! Yeah! Nausicaa, go back and warn your people. <laughs> this is messed up. Oh, shit. Careful. She's a wild one. <gasps> Wait. Quickly now. Oh. I'm Asbel and Lastel's mother. <gasps> Aww. You're their mother. That was the princess she saved, right? I'm guessing. I knew them looking alike would mean something. The Tomekians! Oh shit. <laughs> go, Magica, go! <laughs> Why is everyone so violent when the world is literally falling apart? You'd think you'd be committed to the survival of humanity. But instead they're just killing each other off more. He's got that stormtrooper aim. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh shit. That was a good one. <laughs> it's Lord Yupa. Kill him and you'll be famous! <laughs> There's no ship coming to rescue you. This guy's tough. Yeah, no shit. He's famous for a reason. <laughs> it takes the water and the wind a hundred years to grow one anew. We prefer yep. the ways of the water. Something must have happened because she's starting to look kind of cute to me. Oh, God. He's gross. Oh, what's the matter? Are you okay? Someone. Someone take me outside. Something is very wrong. Uh-oh. We're close. We've cleared the jungle three minutes to the acid lake. This movie reminds me of Princess Mononoke quite a bit. I feel like it's a similar idea. What's making them stampede like that? <gasps> Is it the giant? Did it wake up? No! They've got to be the ohm! They're using the baby to lure the herd into the valley! Oh, that's awful! 
powers up, Kuratoa. Let's go. Sure you don't want to wait? No, I've chosen the bloody path. That's very direct. <laughs> Just hold on tight to Obaba, children. The Ohm will come. There's nothing we can do about it. Oh, that's just gonna scare them. <laughs> Hold the ohm off for as long as possible. I'll be back with help. Your Highness, don't do it. it She's gonna wake up the giant. Wait, shoot her! I can't! It's Lestelle. Oh, it's... oh, he thought it was, uh... He thought it was his princess. Because of her dress. Oh, God. This water is bad! It's filled with acid! Ah! Oh. <sighs> they can heal? Not that way! You're headed straight for the valley! Oh, no. Wait! No! No, don't, don't <laughs> shoot! Don't shoot! Good. Okay, so that's obviously meant to represent like a nuclear bomb, right? The giant warrior died. That's the way it should be. The anger of the Ohm reflects the anger of the Earth. The Earth knows Agreed. it's wrong for us to survive. Okay. I kind of thought what she was going to do was going to work, but apparently not. She's not going to be dead, though, right? Hello, baby. Oh. She gave her life to save the valley. <laughs> I feel like the Omar going to bring her back. Yeah. After a thousand years of darkness, he will come, clad in blue and surrounded by fields of gold. Oh. What's the matter? Oh. <laughs> Did you all learn your lesson? Because we sure haven't. That was good. Yeah, I will say I feel like that was very similar to Princess Mononoke. I think both were good. I think I maybe preferred Princess Mononoke a little bit. I mean, I think that was a movie that is, it's a warning, right? And it's wild to me that that came out in 1984 and is still very much, if not more relevant today. Like, we still haven't learned our lesson. And that's not the only movie that came out with the same warning, you know? I don't know. It Like, that makes me a little sad. That makes me feel a little sad that we very much still have not learned our lesson despite all of these cautionary tales that have come out um, in the last... Jesus... It's 2024, 40, 40 years ago, 40 years ago. That's mind boggling to me. And this is like before anyone was talking about climate change. But I think, I think the overall message still holds true. Like if we keep treating our planet like garbage and destroying it, it will fight back. And it is fighting back. I just, I don't know what it will take for people to start to take it seriously. Yeah, that was a really good movie. I was expecting it to be a little cozier that I think that movie was very like, honestly, just made me sad. Just made me feel a little hopeless i think i think the one thing that's sort of making me feel sort of not great 
is that this movie is saying there will be this savior. Someone will come and save us. But I think at this point we know that it's not up to one person. This is a collective choice that needs to be made globally. And one singular person is not going to be able to fix the problem. And we can do our best, you know, using less um, single-use plastics and, and things like that. But at the end of the day, it's the big corporations that are doing the most harm. I don't want to get into like a whole big, you know, debate or whatever on the internet. Uh, but like, <laughs> this is what capitalism does, truly. I don't have a solution. I'm not a, a revolutionary. I'm not a political activist. And I think that's what gives me a little bit of sort of hopelessness. It's like, what can I do? What can I do when it's up to these mega corporations and politicians who only have their own self-interest at heart? I wish I had a, a little bit of a lighter attitude about it because I like to promote and spread positivity, but I think this is one of those topics that just makes me feel um, small. So if anyone has maybe a drop of light in the darkness that they'd like to put in the comments, feel free to do so. Yeah, that was that was that was a good movie. It was a little sad though. I'm probably gonna go eat some feel better snacks. And I hope y'all do the same. Take care of yourselves and your mental health and take care of the planet as well. Do what you can and vote for people who will take care of the environment. That was my reaction to Nausicaa Valley of the Wind. If you would like access to my full reaction, you can find that on my Patreon. Uh, and you can vote for our next patron pick movie. Would love to get some feedback on uh, future movies to watch as well. So head on over to my Patreon if you would like to do that. I will put a link to my Patreon in the description of this video. I'm also all over the internet, so feel free to follow me wherever you would like. I will put a link to my link tree in the description of this video as well. And of course, don't forget to hit like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you would like to continue watching uh, future anime reactions with me would love to have you along for the journey that is all for this week folks have a good one and i'll catch you later